we've got a new website, vibox.ai, and it's booting, kind of like booting, like an old computer system, operating system. And at first, you are um, uh, you are welcomed with two windows that you see right here. One is the Vibe FM, which uh, I think we both liked this app, <laughs> just giving a vibey feeling and have some music playing around. Um, and the other one, it's the setup information. So what you need to get started? Um, we have the Passport app right here that you need to install by scanning the QR code. Then um, we explain what, uh, what else we have in here, like the uh, App Store. You can find applications. You can open the App Store like any other app in an operating system. And next, we, we have uh, a call to action for, 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 for the people to come and join us and build applications, right? So this is our setup. As a guest user, you can, you can go around and uh, discover everything and interact with the operating system. You can also install the Vibe apps that other people did. So you can just uh, install Snake. That's the only app that we have right now, but we will have more in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's easy. Just install them and play them. Now, I think we might... Um, see what uh, the passport app is all about so in order to 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 log in into this operating system because right now we are a guest user here you will need to to get your passport app so how you do that it's either by directly downloading the the app or you can try to log in with google in in the vibo x and you will probably be prompted to to download the app and let me just do that i will open my phone i already have it installed Right, you can just scan this QR code. Then the steps are really easy. No C trace, nothing. You will just press and you log in. Just like that, using the passkey technology that we've talked about, right? Yep. So the first thing in the app that you will see it's connecting your account, your social account, like Google. Right. So I will just do that really fast. And my app is linked right now. And then I can come back, refresh the page, and I will connect again. I think what is very important for everyone to know here is that at this point in time, this uh, platform works only on Chromium-based browsers. Right. right. So uh, as, a, as a guest user or as a user that wants to view applications, you might be able to, to use it on other platforms. But for the Vibe Studio that I will uh, show you, Shortly, you will need Chrome, and we 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 recommend to use Chrome for for everything. It works best for now. So right now, I have logged in with my uh, Google account on uh, on the OS here, right? And I'm prompted to to sign my intent. So this is it works exactly like a two-factor authentication. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let me just approve that on my phone. Right. So. I have logged in right now. I have a Vibe address. And I also have some uh, funds here. And the Think next thing, yeah. Every uh, new account which is created will receive um, a tiny amount of, uh, of credits. Vibe credits right. are, are called 0 0.5 so that you can move here and there uh, uh, with, with, uh, into the, the platform itself. Right, so everything is straightforward. And as I said, this is a platform for people to build applications. So that's why we have the Vibe Studio right here. So you will open this app and uh, go ahead and select OpenAI and GPT-41. For example, you can use Mini or GPT-41. And we can start building our own application right here. Let's say I want to build maybe tic-tac-toe game. If I already <laughs> vibed it once, I can do it twice and hopefully really fast. Uh, now, I believe again, for very um, important for, for, for everyone is to understand that this is an operating system that runs 
on top of a blockchain and the blockchain behind um, uh, this VibeOX is a testnet for now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Testnet or devnet for now. So uh, there are Vibe credits that you can use just to send transactions and do all kind of um, actions inside the, the, the platform. It's a sovereign chain that runs uh, hybrid supernova, as I was mentioning right. in the beginning. So we have 0 0.6 second block times. It is not uh, upgraded with Andromeda just yet. So we still have the confirmation block for finality. Uh, we are in the process of uh, doing it. Uh, probably it will take one week more. And uh, what I want to say is that transactions on the VibeOX will become even faster. What I believe is also very important for everyone, all the builders in our community to understand is that this is a chance for them to test how applications will feel after Supernova is going to be live on the mainnet. Right. So right now, uh, the AI have already coded my game, but it's not running. I cannot see any preview. And let's just ask it to run it, right? Yeah. Sometimes it runs it by itself, but now <laughs> I'm not sure why. <laughs> Maybe he's angry. <laughs> yeah. Um, for now, we for the Vibe Studio, by default, we've selected OpenAI with two uh, models. But if you want to use Grok or uh, some model from Anthropic or from Google, like Gemini 2.5, uh, you can select it from right. here. All that you have to do is to come and add your API key, and then you can use it exactly how you would use Cursor or uh, Windsurf or any other um, IDE where you uh, build uh, this kind of, of applications. Exactly. So looks like everything went through. It installed the dependencies and run the application, and now I have a preview of the tic-tac-toe game. We can play it. Nice. Not really good at this. But <laughs> yeah, it looks nice, right? So what we can do now, it's just go ahead and deploy it. Um, so right now it goes to our cloud infrastructure and deploys the app that we, we have just built, right? And it's done. Yeah. And right now it's not in the store, right? So in order to get to the store, we need to publish it on, on our chain. So something went wrong here, but we can start uh, again and reopen from history, no problem. Um, all right, so the app is published as we can see. So we can visit this URL and everything is here. Now let's get it into a store, right? Yeah. All right, it's really simple. We will publish on VibeOX. This will uh, create an app screenshot right now. In the terminal, you will, you will see all the steps that the process is taking in order to publish your app to, to the store. So as you can see, I, I'm prompted to, to sign a transaction and uh, I already received a, a notification on my phone. And I will just sign that. This will uh, basically create an NFT um, that will be attached to your, your account. Actually, the first transaction was creating the collection and then the NFT. And now it's creating the NFT. And once that is done, you're good to go and your app should be in the store already. So if I close this or minimize this, we can go to the store and it's all in here, right? So other users can just get this application that I have built and just play it, right? Nice. And that's not all. I think it's another really cool feature that we have. It's the remix. So this is an app, the snake app uh, that you did. <laughs> and I can remix it. So if I press the remix button, I, just, I, ju I can just bring it into my ID, into my history right here, right? So I'm remixing Mihai's snake game. And right now I can preview it, I can deploy it, I can publish it, or I can enhance it 
whatever I, I want. So, yeah. Nice. But there was like another um, button there, like the, the share button. The share button. Yes, you can. You can share your apps. So you can do this in three ways. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter, or if you press this button, you will see that your link is copied to clipboard and you can share it wherever you want. Right. So if anyone else accesses it, right, they yeah. will go to the OS and they will have the app opened and they can play it right away, even as a guest user, right? So they don't need an account to to just view your vibed app, <laughs> which is cool. Yeah. So, so f- just for everyone to understand, we have this demo for two minutes in order to demonstrate something that we can build very fast. But um, there's also... And own. And, yeah, and own it. Exactly. You have the NFT yeah. with which demonstrates the fact that you are the owner of the um, app that you just let's, created. Let's check that. Let's check that. So we also have the system applications like the Explorer that we can install and just go ahead and um, search, for, for, for my, search for my account and we can see like we already have an NFT right here, which is our app, right? So if I click this link and open it, it's my app here. So the app is attached to the NFT and I own it. I made it. I made this. This makes uh, all other remixes trackable and see the source where, where they started at, right? Nice. And um, um, there's also the, the possibility for builders to bring their apps, which probably are right. vibe coded in Cursor or not vibe coded, but created, like coded. Um, by themselves with smart contracts and everything. And also it could be non-vibe coded, right? So it can it could be really complex applications with really complex infrastructure and uh, smart contracts behind them. You can bring them in here by submitting your app. So you'll, you'll have to provide an app name, an app URL, so the where it's running, maybe like something like multiverse6.com and a short app description and you're good to go. So the GitHub URL, it's... Um, it's like optional because you will not be able to remix these kind of apps. Nice. So, but it's, if it's open source, you can provide your GitHub URL and maybe other users can fork it and enhance it and maybe publish a, a different version of your app by remixing, remixing it off OS, <laughs> off OX. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there, there are a couple of other um, important products like um, in the wallet that people yep. can use? Of course, we have some system applications here, as I mentioned. Uh, some of them you already seen, like the Vibe Store or the Vibe Studio. But yeah, we have the wallet as well. So once logged in, you can open the wallet. It's a really simplistic version of the wallet, like a fun version of the wallet. It not, it's not something uh, elaborated. But of course, you can just send good vibes to everyone if you want. So I will just send to me. <laughs> right. Nice. So for everyone to to um, understand, this is all running and will be available in maximum 30 minutes <laughs> for everyone to use. Um, Something happened to my transaction. <laughs> I see that you have 0. 0.4 um, credits right. right now. So if you are going to send, uh, let's say, those credits to me, how can you uh, earn new credits? Right. So that's that's really fine. That's really fun to a fun thing to watch and fun thing to do to to earn vibes, good vibes. So you can go ahead and you, you can see that your stream is offline. So your vibe credit stream is offline, but you can activate it as, as far as you have a slot available here. And we can see that nine of our colleagues already claimed <laughs> some of the slots. Yeah. So it, it's it, as simple as uh, sending a transaction. So by activating it, you will just sign a transaction and you are in, right? You are in nice. and the vibe, vibes, the good vibes keep, keep coming. 